everybody, it's Tess with Love This Yarn. Today I'm just going to do a really short video because I'm having camera issues. I'm having um, my camera stand is like not behaving well. Um, there's all kinds of things going on. And I have filmed this video like five times, you guys. Five. Yeah, five times. I'm getting tired of trying to film the video so I'm gonna try to figure out these issues so I can keep making videos because I totally love it even though I'm so new at it I'm just loving the videos loving it loving it loving it so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you two things first of all I'm gonna show you a really simple solution to um, a tool bag. I know that we all have our tool bags <laughs> and trust me, I have a big giant tool bag that has like everything possible in it that I could possibly need. But you know what? Sometimes you don't have room for a big old tool bag like that. And like, look at this cute little bag I have. Yeah. So see, this is a perfect size bag and y'all know I knit, right? So here's a project I started with some of this yarn haul yarn, the Yarn Bee Little Dollop. I'm going to make a Ross hat out of this, y'all. And um, a Ross hat is just a, a pattern that was um, written by Ross. That smells like yarn. And it's my favorite hat pattern to knit. So anyway, I want to knit one because this is exactly the amount of yarn I need to knit a Ross hat. And if you guys don't know this, um, knitting takes less yarn than crochet. So if you're a crocheter, you use at least a third more yarn than um, knitters do, okay? So who knew, right? Just a little, just a little uh, tidbit of, what do you call that? Mm tidbit. I guess it's just a tidbit, right? Anyway, so say that I have this and say I'm just gonna maybe go outside on my patio and knit since you know we're in a pandemic and all that. Or say I was going on um, a drive with my husband or something that was, you know, maybe 45 minutes to an hour away. I would want to take this with me so that I could do something in the car. So I would have, I always take a project. If it's knitting or crochet, I always have a project. But I may not want to take my huge tool bag in the car with me or, you know, especially when you're traveling, right? So this is what I came up with, you guys. And I mean, I think it's pretty clever. Look at that. This is one of my medication bottles. You guys, I have RA, so mm, I take a lot of medication, all right? Um, and that's okay. I have a very, very happy, blessed life. So yeah, no worries. The thing is, um, with this little bottle right here, I can put everything necessary that I need to do a project and complete it and even weave in the ends Ooh. right okay so let me show you what's in here so I just took the lid off my first thing is my little stork scissors by ginger they're super sharp and I love them and I have two pairs of these one lives in this little medicine bottle and the other one lives in my regular bag, okay? Um, the other thing that I have in here is the dreaded darning needle. Yeah, with, with the bent in, because these are the easiest for me. Can you guys see that? Yeah, these are the easiest for me with my hands. With RA, they don't always work right. So I love those uh, bent tip needles. Um, the other things that I have, I have stitch markers, you guys, and I usually keep at least 
you know, four or five in here because they're small. And I use these for knitting and for crochet. So it doesn't matter if I'm knitting or crocheting, this little bottle can go with me, okay? The other thing that I keep is this tiny little pin. And I'll tell you why I keep the little pin. It's because I keep these little tags. See that, you guys? On these little tags, if I'm knitting, I'll write my, the needle size I was using on the project. Um, if I'm crocheting, of course, I would write the hook size. And then I write like the yarn I'm using, the pattern I'm using, and then I have a, an, a big area here and the whole back of the tag where I can write little notes, like where did I stop in the pattern? Or, you know, any changes to the pattern I want to make, whatever. You know what I mean? And then I just simply take a little piece of the yarn, like this is the tail for my headband, and I stick it right through here, and I tie it on to my project. And then that way, my needles and my hooks are not scattered across 20 different project bags, because you guys, I'm the queen of whips. Mm. One of these days, I'm going to show you all my whips, and you guys are going to be like, girl, you need to get those whips done, right? <laughs> but, and I do, I work on them. I swear I do. I work on them, and I get to a certain point, and then I get, like, tired, and I want to use a different yarn, or I get excited because I saw a new pattern or something, and I'll go, I'll go and do the new one. And then I'll work it like halfway through and then I'll come back and I'll pick up one of my old whips and I'll finish it. So I do get them finished. It's just, it's just rarely do I finish just one thing start to finish without starting something else. So that's the way I roll. I don't know. So let me know if you guys are like that too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. That is what I keep in my little bottle, you guys. And you see, it just all goes back in there. And then, as you can tell, just put the little lid right back on. And looky. Plop. And it's in there. It got me a project in there. See? Project. And my little bottle. And I'm all set. I'm all set for a car ride or a little trip somewhere. I don't know. It's mostly car rides because, yeah, the pandemic and everything. Yeah. But anyway, um, just wanted to share that with you today. And I know that was a really, really super short video. But like I said, I am having some major issues here. And it's driving me crazy. So I'm going to get this all figured out and I'm going to make some real videos that are longer than just a few minutes. But let me show you my little headband. So so yeah, you guys like it? I really like it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. And um... Be safe out there and be kind to each other, okay? And look for, I just messed up my hair. Oh, well. Look for some new videos. And you guys, thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me. I'm such a brand new channel and I get so excited when somebody comments or when somebody subscribes. I mean, seriously, I'm just tickled pink. So, um, if you like my video or if you like me, um, please subscribe and share, share my video because sharing is nice. Yeah. All right. Thanks guys. And I will see you soon with a video where everything, all these camera and camera stand problems have been resolved. So thanks a lot. Have a great weekend and I'll see you all next time. Bye.